Hi, this is Dick Pepper with VoxMD, and today I'm going to talk to you about five things that you want to consider to create a video for yourself in your practice. The first, plan the video. Now, it's not as difficult as it might sound. You need a camera or, or an iPhone and just get in front of it, get the video down. Because something you want to remember is the production value, you know, better is good, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It's what you have to say. Your patients come in, they want to hear about their condition or the treatment that you've told them about. They aren't really concerned about how good a video looks. They want to hear that message that they didn't quite hear when they were sitting in your office. So talk about those things that you know that you, you know your patients want to hear. So for instance, uh, spine surgeons talk about herniated disc. Talk about degenerative disc disease. Reel off those things that you say day in, day out, over and over and over. That is of extreme importance to your patients and it's some of the most searched for terms on the web. So it's good for both patient information as well as for search marketing. Okay, now that's the first thing, plan the video. The second thing is produce it. And how are we gonna do that? Well, there's a couple of ways to do it. So we're gonna look at creating the video yourself. What's involved in that? Well, you don't want big bulky cameras. You should have a simple digital camera if you don't have a digital camera, one of the best things you can use is an iPhone. Just position it, have someone on your staff hold it, get as close as you can without filling up the entire screen. It'll pick up the audio just fine and talk. Use a bone model, say the things that you always say. If you use an iPhone, it has built-in editing, cut off the back, the front when you were preparing, and then it's got an upload button right there to go to YouTube. It could not be simpler. If you wanna get a little more advanced, there's lots of things that you can do. Simple uh, cameras, uh, many of your DSLRs now shoot high def video. This very video right here is shot using a Canon T4i. It has 1080p high def video. It's a, it's a fantastic camera and it's got a little memory card. I just pull it out, uh, trim it up a little bit, load it to YouTube and I'm done. Another way you can shoot the video yourself is by using a service like ClearMD. Clear.md is the uh, website address. They will send you a green screen, a tripod, and a little adapter for your phone along with a lavalier microphone so you sound good as well as look good. You send that back to them, they clean it up, put titles in, and they upload it for you. So there's a little bit of help to do it yourself. All right, let's talk about step number three. Step number three is hire someone to do it for you. Now, this might seem easier, but the reality is that you're going to have to coordinate schedules and be available. And as a doctor, we know your time is at a premium and you're going to be uh, on call. You're going to have emergencies, clinics going to run long, what have you. So if you go to hire someone, they're going to have to be flexible. They're also going to have to be someone who can work within your parameters. If it's easier for you to uh, film at the hospital, they're gonna probably need to get some hospital clearance. They ideally have some familiarity with doing that. If they're gonna do it in your office, which believe me is a lot easier, they need to come in, set up, and be ready to go when you walk into the room. This isn't any sitting around and waiting. Look for somebody with prior experience. Also, find someone who will do it on an hourly basis versus a day rate or half day rate. Videographers still charge a lot of money. An easy place to find one, look for people who do weddings. They're used to doing things on the spot. They will do things usually at a lower price too. So look for those guys, tell them what you're looking for and make sure you get the raw footage from them. You want everything, warts and all, just in case you want to go and edit it and do things yourself later on. So make sure you always get the raw, high quality footage. All right, step number four, load your videos to every video channel. You want to put these things on Google, which owns 42% of all the videos viewed, but put them everywhere else too. The uh, Vivo, uh, any anything that you can have, and also make sure to embed it on your website. You want your video everywhere, right? So not there isn't a place, there's many places and they all get shared. So put it everywhere you can uh, to, to upload that video and make sure you do the same thing that I'm about to tell you in step five. 
optimize your videos for search. Remember, YouTube is the second largest search engine in the US. So you want to make sure that you are optimizing your videos, putting in those keywords. So it should say, for example, herniated disc, doctor, your name, MD. We want to use those little tricks to make sure people are found whether they're searching for you or about herniated disc. You also want to put in the content, repeat that, herniated disc, localize it, put in city and state where you are, use your name and use those words, back pain, herniated disc, over and over in the description. Do a nice description and make sure to put a link to your website. Okay, those are five things. Uh, there's a lot more to it, obviously, than this. Love to talk to you and tell you more about it. If you want to learn more about uh, video or any aspect of practice marketing, please visit us at our website, www.voxmd.com, or give us a call. Thanks.